Now, now we can get Zhongli's uh, meteorite thing in the middle. Uh, <laughs> hey, Vistanti here. In this video, we're actually going to talk about the Geo Traveler. Zhongli is coming out, right? And I feel like the Geo Traveler is the best compliment for Zhongli as a support DPS. So let's get to it. <clears throat> All right, so we have the Geo Traveler here. He does a regular five hit combo. Um, one of his one of his talents, he will do an AOE Geo damage at the end of the attack. You can cancel it with a dash, right after the attack, just so you don't get that delay. Um, you can also do the same thing with his elemental skill. Um, once you unlock his talent, right, you can do it every eight seconds. So you can just drop that down, you can do wait another 8 seconds. Um, you can't stack them though, unfortunately. Um, you can hold it, you pretty much put it whatever you want. You can cancel it like that, otherwise he goes like... Or like, boom, right? Um, these are Geo Constructs, they, you can climb them, you can uh, stand on top of them. It is kind of annoying that sometimes it also knocks enemy up, and then if they can't target you after a while, um, they'll end up being resetted, and that means they'll walk back to the original position. Uh, kind of respawn and then they'll have 4 HP again pretty much. Yeah, it, it gets kind of annoying sometimes, especially in the Abyss. Um, and maybe when they fix or at least not have you able to climb during a battle, that will be great. Um, especially in the... <laughs> you'll be fighting and then suddenly you're like, oh no, I'm near a wall, I'm like, get off. Alright, so that's gonna be annoying. Anyways, let's go through the constellations. Or I could go over the talents super quick. So this is the one, it reduces the cooldown by 2 seconds, so it becomes 8 seconds. And here's the one that's 60% attack at AoE Geo damage. So we have constellations here, you get them pretty much by doing the story, you get potions, uh, you can do the story and adventure rank, uh, by the way. And then pretty much as you go, you get these along the way. So the first one is the Wake of Earth. Um, will allow you to get a crit rate plus 10, so if you're near one in the radius. And you'd be less able to flinch, so you cannot get interrupted. The second one is pretty good, um, but we do not have a way to detonate it on our own. But Zhongli's around the corner, and he can synergize with this. So when it's destroyed, it'll do uh, AoE Geo damage. Um, so that's pretty good, right? And then these are the regular upgrades right here and here. We have reactions, so when you're doing your ultimate, the Wake of Earth. I don't have it up right now, but I'll show you after this. Um, that if you if you hit right, um, I think depending on how far the enemy is to, compared to you, um, it kind of comes out and hit like four times. So um, if you do if you hit an enemy, you can generate five energy and maximum twenty five. And then the last one it just makes these skills last longer. Um, sure, I just did it anyway. Get in preparation for Zhongli, right? Um, so we're actually gonna fight an enemy here, and I'm gonna show you hopefully. Maybe it'll reset, I don't know. So I'm just gonna hit this, he's gonna stand on top of it, right? He might be stuck there, he might reset. He can't target me, kind of weird. But um, he can totally do this combo and I just drop the E to cancel as well. Alright, we'll see if he ever resets. NK rocks, man. Yeah, he pretty much has 4 HP again. Alright, so you, what you want to do is kind of like hit next, you want to hold E so you get hit next to him So he doesn't actually get propped up Alright, here we go, boom 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 boom, right? Four times, I get a critical rate uh, increase right now 70, uh, I'll show you my stats later with the base form I am using a black sword but, uh, okay. I almost messed up, and that's his charge attack the stamina, obviously. Alright, let's finish it. There you go. Alright, so here, here is my stats with the Geo Traveler. Um, it's HP's attack, crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, uh, Geo damage bonus. Um, so those are like the most somewhat important stats. Um, in order, I build him like kind of a DPS, so he can still do damage, just drop it. Even if he's just coming from a quick moment, at least his things will do damage. And then when he's gone, with using Zhong Li, uh, I'm gonna call his uh, Starfell Soul Rock Balls, all right? Okay, his Rock Balls will be down there, and then when he blows them up, do even more damage, right? Because it's 
kind of skills with his his attack at anything. So crit rate, crit damage, what you want. So you can do that massive uh, damage multiplier here. And geo damage bonus, of course. Um, I'll go over the damage formula later um, in case you guys didn't see my Ningguan video. Um, so we can go over that formula and then you know why we want crit rate and crit damage and geo damage bonus. Um, secondary, you can use an attack you want afterwards. And then after that, you want energy recharge so you can unleash the elemental burst as quick as possible. The wake of the earth. Um, or I like to call it just the wave. Um, so since you're busting out those rock balls quite often, those uh, you can get the wave pretty quick, even though it's 60 energy. Let's look at my artifact set. There's like uh, a couple of sets that you can run that we can kind of go over. Um, I'm running Gladiator and Petra because my crit rate is already high. I don't need any more crit, I just say. I like more crit damage. Um, Gladiator is the five piece that kind of helped everything overall. That's what I'm going for because sometimes I, I do use his... I'm using a black sword, right? So sometimes I just have him be self-sustained. He can heal himself. So that's one of the reasons why I have Gladiator. Um, another set you can use is Nobilis Oblige, right? Um, if you just want to concentrate on the Q, Elemental Burst, his Waves. I like to... I want to play using his Rock Balls because Zhongli is going to resonate with those more because when they're destroyed, they do double detonation. Uh, while the Wake of Earth doesn't actually... Det when it detonates, it doesn't do extra damage, right? So I want to... Kind of geared towards more of that one since you can drop it eight every eight seconds and then they'll be resonating and it's more flexible because you can actually choose where you go otherwise the wave it just from where you where you're at and then goes out and then at the fourth hit it will be at that position but you do want geo damage bonus because that's a very good scale for his attacks um let's go over the individual stats here so we have uh we'll start with this this is always hp right of course sub stats you want crit damage crit rate Attack, energy recharge. Um, this is a pretty good one, I have to say. Um, and then we have uh, the feather. You want, it's going to be attack always. And then you want the same thing, right? Crit rate, crit damage, attack, energy recharge. Um, this is also pretty good for me. I didn't crit, crit damage though, but okay. So now the other three is where it kind of, you know, is more RNG based. So we'll, we'll go with what you want. So you do want attack for this. Um, you want the same substats. This isn't the best for him, but um, that's pretty much all I kind of got. I can also run this. So, um, yeah. So just make sure the main stat is attack. And then the substats are pretty much the same for all of them, okay? So I'm not, I don't repeat them anymore. The cup, you do want geo damage bonus because you're going to be spamming that more. I don't have an extra one. So I'm using attack for now, but you want geo damage bonus. Um, so, so my 10k rocks will probably do a way more. Um, and then for the last one, depending on your weapon, uh, since I already have crit rate, I want crit damage. If you don't have crit rate weapon, you want crit rate here. So that's pretty much the, the basic artifacts. Um, let me know what other sets you guys want to do. Uh, I think there's Noblest, uh and Exile. You can also run Exile if you want, if you really want to concentrate on an energy recharge. But I like to go with five star artifacts because they scale much higher, uh, as a, and because you get that extra uh, substat as well because you can go to plus twenty. So I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, so you pretty much have to work with what you have. But I'm gonna give the thoughts on the weapons, um, just based on what I seen and looked around. So we have Skyward Blade. I think it's pretty good. It gives you energy recharge. You can it's very good for support. So you can totally go with that. Give you some crit. Crit rate, which is like pretty decent. They don't have uh, a sword at the five star sword that gives you a secondary as crit rate, unfortunately. But look, he does have more options as a sword user than, you know, as a catalyst user. Um, if you see my Ningwa video, right? So um, we're going to go on to the Aqua Vivonia. Um, it gets physical damage bonus. I don't know if it'll be that good because of the secondary stat. That's a big, that's like a big, healthy. Um, Thing to take into account but if you're using it the main dps you can totally kind of use this um because attack do scale well, that's a five star weapon you get extra attack in here as well and you kind of self-sustain you heal a little bit back um whatever your attack is and then you do aoe attack damage so it's still it's still pretty good all right so we got the flute he's a pretty good contender you can totally use that uh you get a, you can deal with some attack extra attack damage 
after you get your stacks of harmonic stacks, right? Black Sword is what I'm using. I really enjoy it because of the crit rate. Um, the Black Sword is like good for a lot of characters in general. Um, and it is, it, this allows you to self-sustain. So you can do crit rate, you just pretty much heal back every five seconds as long as you're doing crit. And I'm doing crit pretty often, 60% 60, 60 crit, man. Crazy. Um, but this damage increase is pretty good. Um, we'll go over the damage uh, formula again later. I can keep reminding you. Um, so a lot of these stuff is going to be pushed on later of why I think that is. Um, the ally flash, I like the substat, but I don't know if I like this inability. I mean, you could totally use it. He's got a run of it for extra bonus, but I wouldn't count on this too much. A lot of the battles, you're probably going to run out of stamina, especially for 12 for this. Um, Sacrificial Sword, I would not use it because his skill is only 8 seconds, man. It's just, I would rather save this sword for like Chi-Chi or something else. Uh, and you can energy charge, that's fine, but um, you don't really need this. You can totally use the different ability that's probably more helpful. See, we got the Royal Sword. Um, gives you attack. I won't use it. Um, you already, yeah. This this sword isn't great all around, to be honest. But if you, there's a lot of better options out there. Uh, the prototype, not bad. You can totally use it because um, you do get the extra attack and defense. So if you think it's more of a main DPS, you can totally go with this. Um, of course, yet again, go with what you have, right? Lion's Roar, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, because this is more of a pyro electro kind of thing. Iron Sting, you could use it, but the Elemental Mastery is kind of useless on a Geo character, or DPS at least. So I will probably skip on that. Uh, Fafonia Stored, you can as a, as a support, right? You could totally do it. And then you got, you got to run crit though. Um, I mean, you're going to run crit anyways. Um, but... Yeah, this is this you can totally use this. Energy recharge, you can leech stats faster. Black Cliff is also okay. Crit damage is pretty good. As a secondary, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's good. But uh, the effect itself, you defeating enemies, that's not going to happen often, especially in Biss, right? That's all what you pretty much people care about. Um, but you can totally use it. It's totally viable. Okay, so let's go on. We also have Sword Dissension. You can totally use that. Give you attack 66%. I think I have that here. Look at that here real quick. Uh, attacking enemies, uh, grant 50% additional attack. That's pretty good. I like the effect. It gives you extra 66 if you're using on a tra uh, on a traveler. So the base attack is actually pretty much higher. Um, yeah, that, that's 66 more. That's that's decent. That's decent. As you get as you level higher, that 66 is gonna matter less. So um, leave what you will. I mean, you gotta make do with what you have, right? Um, as for three star swords, um, I think most of these are this one's crit damage, um, but you have to be like HP high at the same time, or you're running a lot of crit rate. The Harbinger of Dawn, the Fillet Blade is pretty good, I would say. Get the attack damage bonus um, towards a single t target 50% of the time. You're a sword user, you attack pretty quick. Um, let's see what else we got. This one's for Hydro Cryo. This is for Reaction. You're a freaking Geo character. That's not going to happen. This one gives defense. No need. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much the big rundown. Let me know what you guys think of the swords as well. All right. So here is the damage formula. I kind of revised it, made it more presentable compared to the last uh, video that I mentioned this. So we have the basic attack of the character and a base attack of the weapon. That is your base attack, right? And if you notice here that the weapon and artifacts um, mo is multiplied against only the base attack of your character and your weapon. Not anything else, just that. And your flat attack of your artifacts comes later. So that's why it's a less of an impact using attack percentage. Um, but for the hourglass, right? That's, that's the only one that actually increased DPS because everything else like HP, defense, energy recharge and stuff like that. Um, but so you have to run attack percentage on that. But here you can see how these are multipliers. Um, so this is either elemental or physical damage mods or any other kind of damage mod like normal attack mods or whatever um, is multiplied by this whole attack value. So the base attack times your all your artifacts, then add your flat attack of all your artifacts. That is your base. Um, that's your attack value. That's your attack value, and then it multiplies by your either elemental or physical damage and then if crit is also in here so if you crit right 
um, then you you add that critical damage on top of it. So and then crit, critical damage in this game kind of scales pretty high, right? So as a for a five star mass, um, you can get like sixty two critical damage extra. Uh, for crit rate, it's like thirty percent. And then down here is just the critical modifiers, um, like for his skills. All right, now that we're done with like the nitty gritty stuff, why don't we do some boss battles? Yeah, I'm gonna only try using uh, the the Geo Traveler. Only. Let's go. Come on. Dude, I didn't even crit. Sixty percent crit, not critting. <laughs> There we go, 10k rock throws. I didn't crit. Oh my god. Alright, I don't want an OT yet. I'll save the OT for after the next phase. Alright, drop one of these. Just in case he, you know, he attacks them and blow them up. Alright. Of course, you want to use more of like a support DPS, like in between his uh, eight second cooldowns. All right, not so bad, right? The damage not so bad, not the greatest, but not not so bad. Oh no, I miss. Grab these real quick. Go. And then he has that one final phase, right? And you gotta hit him again. Oh, I didn't crit. What is this? Alright, well, there you go. Alright, Storm Terror. So, um, one thing I wanted to try was to put the rocks down here, right, and then have them charge through it, but, uh, Storm Terror doesn't do enough damage. So, like, it's like, it's, can, can I just drop a rock, you know, have him just run into it, right, because he comes here charging, right, in the beginning. He doesn't, he doesn't do enough damage to destroy these rocks, unfortunately. Well, I wonder why he had to use Zong Li when, right, as he comes... What a big chunk of damage I took from his life. And I healed it back. Alright. Can I find? Yeah, yeah. The extra crit. It's funny though, the rock is just there. <laughs> it's just stuck there. Alright, let's see if I, I can totally block these, I think. Totally kind of block them on the rock, but that thing does do AoE. So you're going to be careful standing behind of it. Dude, that rock's still there, man. <laughs> Going by right in the middle I hit somehow but okay that's fine I'll heal it back I'm using the black sword all 
My man. Come on, man. Climbing time. Up, 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 up. Damn. Oh, it blew up too. <laughs> nice. Through his neck. Can't believe I missed. There we go. Can't believe I missed though. But are we gonna fight a rune guard? You can totally use these rocks to block missiles. That was a nice thing. You can like have a, a second cooldown to put a wall. Like right there. All right, we're gonna put one right here. Just have it tank that. Make our way in. You do have to be careful of where you're placing the rock. Because you don't want to lift them up like that. Yeah. Him at an angle. It's nice though, sometimes he's like, oh yeah. Try to attack, but you're like too hot, too high. I'm not attacking, alright. This is uh, not an equal footing. Oh my god. This is one of the things that can happen, and then you don't want him to reset, right? Oh my god. This is why a lot of people sometimes don't like the Geo Traveler because of this. You just gotta practice aiming to hit it, but not like push it out. It's kind of awkward position. But every time he attacked, he pushed me. Oh, he pushed me down though. Okay, just gonna win with this. Bye. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this gives you a little bit insight of how to build a Geo Traveler. Um, I do still working on Noel though, and Zongli is dropping out soon. So if you do like, comment, subscribe. Um, your comments, whatever you want to do, and subscribe for the next videos. And with that, thanks for watching, and later days.